What's going on, guys? How you doing? I'm Frank the Man, and thanks for clicking on this YouTube video. You ain't had to do it, but you did, so thank y'all. Appreciate y'all. So, today we're going to be doing a how-to tutorial on the weekend. Now, he just dropped a new album. It's less than a month old. It's called Starboy. I'm not too familiar with it. Frankly, I haven't even heard it, to be honest. And I don't really care much, too. Now, the one thing I do care about is his hairstyle. Now, a lot of people are rocking it. A lot of people are requesting it. Now, as barbers, we have to go ahead and stay with high demand, right? So, with that said, we're going to be doing a how-to tutorial on it. So, I ain't got nothing more to say. Let's go ahead and get this cracking. Peace. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we watch this, or before you guys watch this, please take in mind that my client, this particular client, his hair wasn't long enough to achieve the actual length that I wanted for this hairstyle. So, before you leave any type of negative comments, this isn't fucking the, the weekend hairstyle. Yes, it is, just on a smaller scale. That you can achieve both small and big doing the exact same uh, techniques that I'm going to be teaching you guys today. So, thank y'all and enjoy. Alright guys, so the first tip is to go ahead and start bulking off the hair. The weekend's haircut is longer in the front and shorter in the back, so that's all we're trying to achieve here. Our next step is to go ahead and create our first guideline with the one and a half guard. Now the reason why I'm using the one and a half guard is just because based off of the weekend's newest album, I saw a picture of him where either he had a number two or a one and a half at the bottom of his face. So I just went ahead and went with the one and a half. Now around the corners here, go ahead and just use exactly that, your corners for his ear. It makes everything a whole lot easier instead of using the entire blade. All I'm doing here is I'm just hitting it again with the one and a half, just to touch some spots I may have missed. Our next step is to start molding or shaping the hair, whatever it is that you want to call it. Now this is a freehand motion, so go ahead and be very, very careful with this, guys. Notice how the clipper is at a 45 degree angle. This is how I fade. This is how I hold it to mold hair. So holding the clipper at a 45 degree angle to fade is very, very critical if you want to master fading. And again, guys, I cannot stress this enough. Be very careful when doing a freehand motion because one slip up and damn, you're either you're gonna be getting your ass whooped or doing a lot of ass whooping. So go ahead and just be very careful with this, guys. There's no need to rush at all. Now I'm just grabbing that one and a half guard again and opening the lever midway to go ahead and start fitting that first guideline that I created with the one and a half guard. When cutting coarse hair or black people hair, make sure to use that comb, yo. It's very, very critical because if not, there's going to be a lot of black spots in that fading. We do not want that. Make sure to use that lever, guys. In fading, that is your best friend when it comes to fade. The lever on the side of your clipper. Once again, after I knock out that first guideline, I start shaping the hair with the freehand motion. With no guard. A lot of this is going to be repetitive. We're gonna be switching from freehand motion to the one and a half card to make sure we can give this guy the absolute best fade we can give him. And all I'm doing here is again, doing the same thing over and over again, making sure I use that comb though. It's so critical that we use that. They say that a barber's best friend is a straight razor. Well, that might be true for some barbers, but for me, my best friend is that mirror, yo. And I know it look mean as fuck right now, but I am just know that I'm super focused, guys. And the reason why my best friend is a mirror is because I like to go ahead and look at it back and forth, back and forth to make sure that I haven't missed any bald spots, or excuse me, any dark spots. Exhibit A was in that far left corner. There was a dark spot. My mirror went ahead and helped me out with that. So make sure to use that mirror, guys. Some more uh, shaping of the hair on top. Notice that now my eye level this is just to make sure that I, I'm not missing any type of hair at all. Macaulay 
Found off those edges to achieve that look we're going for. Now, if you're wondering why I'm using my shears to shape the this this haircut here, and not my clippers, is because I truly believe that the texture that the shears leave is a lot better than just the clipper themselves. Do you like mortar, my nigga? Don't talk about that shit. You can't afford it, nigga. That slow mo here, just to remind you to go ahead and just take it nice and slow, you guys. Nice and slow. Whenever I line somebody up, I always start from the middle and just work my way from there. The middle serves as a reference point for your lineup. All you have to do is follow that reference point and your lineups will always be crispy. Make sure to get those extra hairs that are right under the lineup by flipping your trimmer over. When working with the sideburns, I always use my corners. I do apologize the camera is out of focus here, but my rule of thumb for this is I always start at the neck and I work my way up. Notice how I flip the trimmer again to avoid scratching my client. There's three things we can do here. If we can round it, we can square it, or we can just go ahead and taper it in. I went ahead and tapered it in. When it comes to razor work, I always make sure to pull my client's skin. The reason for that is because when you pull the client's skin, it becomes a little bit harder and the blade is a lot easier for it to slide. This part of the video is the only part of the video that's not sped up. So this is in me in real time right now, just taking a slow and steady. With that said, thanks so much for watching guys. This concludes our how-to tutorial on the weekend. Thanks so much for watching. Go ahead and smash that like button for me. Go ahead and smash the subscribe button for me. Thank you so much. See you guys in the next video. Peace.